Evening, YouTube. Uh, I got a little bit of rant to do. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Uh, there's people going out and protesting Trump being president. You know what? He did what he did. He, he, he won the biggest part of the country. You know? And I don't know. I just It's crazy to start fights and stuff. I hate seeing that people are shoving, especially a young person pushing, pushing an older person downstairs. Come on. Grow the F up. We're Americans. We need to quit this shit. We need to stand together. Yeah. He may not be the president you wanted elected. But he was elected. The people spoke. Leave it at that. We need to work together. We really do. Not divide ourselves. You know. All it's going to end up doing is creating a bigger war. We don't need a war here at the home front. We got enough of that stuff across the pond. You know, it makes me makes me upset. I've got family in the military. I've got friends in the military. You know, I got a buddy right now that's sitting in a spot that he don't want to be in. Just because that is his job. You know, it's a shame. The people stomping and burning the flag and stuff, quit it. You're acting like a child. You know, I don't say everything that the government does is correct. You know, but we voted him in. He's our president, taken of uh, the 20, 22nd of January, I can't remember exactly. But he will be our president. Hopefully, he does turn stuff around. Uh, you know, there's nobody that's perfect. Nobody. And for what I understand from the Christians, the only guy that was completely innocent, completely legit, 110%, was, was Jesus. And you know what? I'm not a Bible thumper. And, uh, you know, it makes sense. But quit it. We need to work together. We need to we need to shut ISIS down and get it get the stuff settled. You know, it just, it pains me. I, you know, family. I've got a cousin right now who's in the Air Force. Thank God she's not anywhere near there. She's here though. She's on a base here in the United States. Come on. We need to quit. That's going to be bad. I mean, it just it does. It pains me. I know this, this is going too far. Too long. But I do. I care about my soldiers. Yeah, I said my soldiers. I'm an American. American soldiers are ours. We need to respect them. We need to respect the flag. You don't have to respect the government. If you got a beef with the government, go to uh, change.org and start a petition to get shit changed. Excuse my French. You know, I, I hate to cuss. I try not to cuss. You know, it's a shame though. I don't know. You know, I can understand these idiots in the third world countries 
burn an American flag because they hate us. But you know what? Not all of them hate us. There's some here that are the nicest people around. We need to quit. We need to hang together. And if you got a second and you see a young soldier or a Marine, Marines don't like to be called soldiers. But you know what? They are military. And that's what counts. Shake their hand. Tell them thank you. Because without them, this country would not be free. I know there's people out there swear up and down the country's not free. Well, they're kind of right. You have to pay taxes. You know, that's the way the world works. That's the way we work. You know, I think the government, a lot of them guys make way too much money. But the soldiers are the ones that get cut. They don't make hardly anything. I just hope it changes. I hope it all goes well. I hope Mr. Trump can do exactly what he said to get us headed in the right direction. And uh, that's just my rant. I appreciate it. Love you guys, especially the soldiers, family, friends. You see this? I love this. And anybody that isn't family, I love you too. Keep keep your head down. Keep the lead flying if you have to. Just make it home. Cause we love you. We need you home soon. Have a good night from the Mike Brown channel. Thank you. Bye.